Okay, so we are going to be leaving out of Barbados to St. Lucia. And the plane we're taking is with Inter-Caribbean. She said it's a 48-seater, so we'll see how that goes. But uh, I've already got my ticket. There was no real line for Inter-Caribbean here, so that's great. And then I'm going to go through the departure area here. And yeah, we'll just show you the process of flying to St. Lucia. We've also done tours of flying from St. Kitts to Barbados and St. Martin also. All right, so we're in there now. It, everything was really smooth sailing. There was no real lines, although they did search my bag because they have the older machine. And I have camera equipment, so anytime they have an older machine at an airport, they always got to search it. But other than that, everything was smooth. So positive experience at the Bar Barbados airport coming in and going. Um, yeah. Showing you around the airport real quick. Grab and go. Subway. Yeah. Nice. Never heard of that airline before. Okay, so we're going to gate nine here. inter-island travel here. This is actually a 1040 departure. Gate number nine is over here. Okay, so we've been told that it's delayed now. We don't know how long it'll be delayed, but uh, it's an unscheduled maintenance delay. I guess this is very common with this airline. All right, so we are officially super delayed. Apparently this is very common with this airline. At least that's what the people from Barbados told me. So yeah, I'm going over to the bar now. This is crazy. Like, you're just sitting there, just waiting, waiting, no information, and then they're like, we don't know how long it's gonna take, so it could take hours. The Mount Gay bar here, just chilling, kinda waiting for time to go by. Don't wanna get too buzzed, but I wanna catch a little bit of a buzz, why not? Yeah, Mount Gay here. Just got a notification. It is now gonna be four hours delayed. They've got two flights they're splitting up, so, uh, yeah, we've at least got some sort of update. They took three hours to give us any sort of update. No one knew what was going on, so everyone was just kind of sitting there. But they've given us an update, so four hours delayed, and we'll see if that's on time. <laughs> All right, so we're about five hours delayed, but we're going. All right, so we were supposed to leave at uh, 10.30, 10.40 this morning. It's around three o'clock in the afternoon, so uh, they've combined the flights. Thankfully, they do sell beer here, so I've been drinking beer. But uh, I think that was the plane we were supposed to go on, that little one right there. And it uh, is under maintenance. So it is what it is. I'm just glad to get on a safe plane, though. There's a Virgin Atlantic. I think those guys actually fly inter-island. So let's see how this goes. Got Air Canada over here. No will kit. No? No 
Looks like we're flying on this one. Yeah, that's the plane I think we were supposed to go on, that little one. They probably shouldn't use little planes anymore because they're just not efficient. Yeah, that's how you do it in Barbados. You just walk out there, follow the leader. going to Dominica and St. Kitts next. All right, so I've made it to the hotel here in St. Lucia. This is the Hilton Harbor Front. There's my view. Just the bed. Show you around a little bit outside and then, uh, yeah, it's nighttime, so. 